Tambua recognize uwezo the ability uliyoko ndani yako that is within you amen nataka leo i want today utambue you should recognize uwezo the ability uliyoko ndani yako that is within you mungu alipotuumba when god created us ameweka uwezo ndani he put ability within wa kufanya mambo makubwa to do great things uwezo wa kiumbaji the ability of creation uwezo huu this ability hukuhitaji wewe kuwa mgonjwa it didn't need you to be sick uwezo huu this ability hukuhitaji wewe kuwa maskini it didn't need you to be poor uwezo huu this ability hukuhitaji wewe it didn't need you kuwa na ufahamu duni usiokuwa na ubunifu you have a certain mind without creativity nikisema hivyo when i say that maanisha kama ni ubunifu i mean if it's creativity god is the first creative one Mwangalie mwenzako usoni. Look at your fellow on the Mwangalie face. Mwangalie mwenzako usoni. Mnafanana? Are you the same? Ah? Hata kama mmezaliwa tumbo moja. Even if you're from the same. Viko vitu mnatofautiana. There are diff- a lot of things that you Hata kama mmoja mmoja moja, viko vitu mnatofautiana. Na huo ndio ubunifu nani? That is the creativity Wani. of God. Alisema tumfanye mtu kwa mfano wetu na kwa sura yetu wakasema wale samaki wa baridi na ndege wa ngani lakini sio sura hii sio sura hii ni kwa namna ya rohoni wewe na mimi tunafahana Mungu kwa namna ya rohoni sio mwilini ingekuwa tunafahana kwa namna ya mwilini basi Mungu angekuwa na sura nyingi sana God would have have a lot of faces tumfanye mtu kwa mfano wetu na kwa sura yetu. Let us own image. Sasa jiulize Mungu ana sura ngapi hapa? Then ask yourself how many verses that God has. Na kuna wengine there are others. Pua zao. They are noses. Ni kama mwiba mwiba wa mkonge. She's like a thorn. <laughs> Pua. Kuna mwingine jicho. The others the eye. Kagorori like a marble. Kuna macho madogo kama ya mchina. Other small eyes like Chinese people. Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise be to the Lord. Kuna wengine the others. Masikio. The ears. Ka tembo. Like an elephant. Wengine masikio yao. Others the ears. They're very small. Kuna wengine wana mdomo wa sungura. The others have a mouth like a rabbit. Wengine mdomo wa kawaida. Others normal sasa jiulize kama sura ziko tofauti Mungu amesema na tumfanye mtu kwa sura yetu na kwa mfano wetu sasa kama sura ngapi maana hazifanani how come they're not the same tunafahana Mungu we are like God kwa jinsi ya rohoni spiritually kwa jinsi ya sasa huo uwezo Now that ability, Mungu ameuweka ndani yetu that God has placed ndani within, ya roho zetu within our spirit Uwezo huo that ability unaweza kuita vitu visivyo kuwepo You may call things that are not there kuwepo. to be there Uwezo huo that ability mahali penye umaskini in poverty ukiutumia sawa sawa when you use it right Maskini unasalimu amri unaondoka Poverty salutes and goes away nilipotambua uwezo huo nikamwambia nimejua uwezo ulionipa siwezi kubaki vile vile katika huduma wala katika maisha yangu sema amen sema amen sema amen uwezo huo hata kama afya ina mgogoro even if your health is bad ukiutambua When you recognize it. Ukaukumbusha, ukauita. And you remind it and Utende kazi ndani yako. To work within you. Afya yako lazima ikae sawa sawa. Your health must stay well. Nataka leo utambue uwezo ulioko ndani yako. I want you to recognize the ability. Nataka leo utambue uwezo ulioko ndani yako. Recognize the ability. Tambue uwezo ulioko ndani yako. Recognize the ability within you today. Angalia kitabu cha mwanzo. Look at the book of Genesis. Mwanzo sura ya pili. Genesis chapter 2. Mstari wa 7. Verse 7 kitabu cha kwanza cha Biblia The first book in the Bible Mungu alipokuwa anafanya uumbaji Mwanzo sura ya pili Genesis chapter 2 mstari wa 7 verse 7 Biblia inasema The Bible reads Bwana Mungu akamfanya mtu 
kwa mavumbi ya ardhi akampulizia puani pumzi ya uhai mtu akawa nafsi hai hebu sema bwana Mungu naomba sauti yako akamfanya mtu kwa mavumbi ya ardhi akampulizia puani sema tena pumzi ya uhai mtu akawa nafsi hai kilichomfanya mtu awe nafsi hai kwa mara ya kwanza ilikuwa ni pumzi yake it was his breath pumzi yake Mungu aliyompulizia mtu that he blew upon akiwa udongo while he was na mtu akawa hai and he, the man was made alive mtu akamka amechukua udongo he took the man akaufinyanga and he made it up alipofinyanga akauweka pale kama kasha then he put it there as a case kama box flani kaliacha as a certain box and put it there alafu akatazama then he looked at it kwanza sasa huu ni udongo say this is mud hayo ni mavumbi this is dust una kazi gani hapo sawa nimeufinyanga kichwa kama cha kwangu and he made the head like mine miguu kama ya kwangu the feet like mine kifua kama cha kwangu the chest like mine lakini but hakina uhai kama wa kwangu it has no life like mine na ndani ya uhai wa Mungu ni kwenye uwezo wa kiungo kufanya vitu that is when the ability of god to do that kama uwezo ule wa kiungu hauko ndani yako uwezi kufanya chochote ukitembea kama mwanadamu wa kawaida tu na mimi nataka siku ya leo upokee uwezo ukitembea aonekane Mungu anatembea ndani yako aonekane Mungu anatembea ndani yako sema amen hiki ndio kitu ambacho Mungu alikifanya ndani ya mtu akapuliza and he blew alipoingiza ile pumzi yake mwanadamu akawa nafsi hai a man was a living soul akatam akaamka he woke up akaanza kutembea kama Mungu anawaza kama Mungu anafanya kama Mungu anawaza kama Mungu sema amen say amen akifanya jambo ni Mungu amefanya hilo jambo ndio maana baada ya kumuumba mwanadamu after creating man Mungu akamtazama akaanza kumfurahia akasema naam And he said, kazi ya mikono yangu the work of my hands mtu mwenye sura yangu sio kwa namna ya nje hapana mwenye sura yangu kwa namna ya rohoni ile pumzi iliyompulizia ule ndio uhai wangu ile ndio sura yangu ule ndio uwezo wangu ile ndio nguvu yangu that is my power oh! kama kuna kitu mwanadamu kapoteza ni sura ya Mungu ndani yake leo nitakapo kupulizia pumzi ya Mungu ndani yako mwanangu na kuhakikishia hautashindwa na jambo lolote hautafeli na jambo lolote ninakuombea hata ukienda kwenye vikao vya wakurugenzi vya wakurugenzi wenzio au wewe ni mfanyakazi tu ukienda kwenye vikao vya bodi vikao vya tenda kauli yako ikawe na nguvu maneno yako yakawe na nguvu sauti yako ikawe na nguvu kama Mungu wako alivyo na nguvu Hallelujah. 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 Mungu akamwambia Adam. And God told Adam. Sogea hapa. Come close here. Alafu Adam akaletea wanyama. And Adam animals were brought to Adam. Every type of animal. Akamwambia wape majina. And said name them. <laughs> Kumbuka Adam na Hawa. Remember Adam and Eve. Ni majina ambayo Mungu alitoa mwenyewe kwa wanawake. The names that God gave him by himself. Akamwomba mtu akamwita Adam. He created men and called him Adam kutoka kwa Adam from Adam kachomoa ubavu he took out the rib akamba mwanamke and created the woman afa Adam yale poamka alipomtazama and when Adam woke up and said Adam kwa asili ana sauti ya Mungu ana uwezo wa Mungu ana nguvu ya Mungu akasema wow and he said wow uyu this ni nyama katika nyama zangu is the flesh of my flesh mifupa katika mifupa yangu the bone of my bone ni damu yangu is my blood 
ataitwa mwanamke wewe. She will be called woman. Huyo anaitwa Hawa. She will be called Eve. Eva. Sema amen. Say amen. Sema amen. Say amen. Alipewa macho ya kuona kama Mungu. He was given eyes to see as God. Alipewa ufahamu kama Mungu. He was given the mind as God. Alipewa uwezo wa kutamka jina kama nani? To speak out a name kama Mungu. Like God. Huo uwezo ukiwa nao. The ability was written. Lolote utakalotamkia kwenye kazi ya mikono yako, kwenye maisha yako lazima litokee. It must happen. Amen. Kwa hiyo alipoletewa wanyama, so when the animals were brought, akajipanga mwanaume anajua ndani yangu nina uwezo gani. Say within me I know the ability I have. Okay, oh, he said you be called a cow and it went no, no, no. more. Oh, you be called a oh, rabbit. Oh, you be a cheetah and it went. He said you be called a goat and it went. You be a goat and it went. Akawapa majina wote. He gave all of them names. Yale majina ya wanyama hakutoa the names of the animals God in heaven Adam, Adam is the one who gave them He was confessing the ability of God within him That's why at times I tell you The children that you bear Be careful with the names you give them Because the name of the parent Lina nguvu ya kusadifu maisha ya mtoto kesho. Mtoto anaweza akaishi. Maisha yake yote kulingana na jina lolo mpaka mzazi. His whole life according to the name that is given by the parent. Kama ulijua ulikosea jina kumpa mwanao. If you know you are wrong to give a name to a child, you're not yet dead. Nafasi unayokubadilisha jina. You have the chance to change the name. Uwe hai. Be alive. Uwe hai. Be alive. Uwe hai. Be alive. Sasa uwezo huo Now that ability ni uwezo ambao Mungu is the ability that God amekuwa anatamani kuonyesha kwa watu wake alafu waendelee kutumia ili maisha yao yasife yasidumae ni uwezo wa kufufua kilichokufa ni uwezo is the ability to gather the bones that are scattered and died a long time. It is the ability to bring back the bones. That's when I pray for someone. Whether I lay hands by far, or I throw it, or I touch them. I know it's not sugui as men. But God that is within is the one who does it to people. When I pray for you, mkono hivi, and I take the hand of this, hivi, or I just cross my feet si like this, wako. I'm not concerned with your body. Mimi siko na wewe pale. I'm not with you there. I deal with the spirit that is torturing you within. So when I look at the spirit, and I see somebody as a giant within you. A giant that has held you. It has muscles, it has gold. So I bring it in and take it off. When I pick it up, I don't know. Later when you come out, you don't understand. To understand prophecy is a great job. When I do this, it's not me. It is God telling me to do this. It is not me doing it, but it's God telling me do this and that. So when I do it, I remove those spirits. After that, you're amazed that you're like that. Maombi. Prayer. Maombi ya na luga. Prayer is a maombi ya na sana. Prayers have a great energy. It is not a certain type of a certain denomination. No. It is not a certain sculpture that is put there. No. It is not like that. Say amen. Prayers have a language. Because not everyone who prays is heard. Not everyone who prays is answered. You must know the language of prayer. How to use it. That it brings answers in the time that is acceptable.
Yuda 1 moja 20 Jude 1 and verse 20 Yuda 1 moja 20 anasema Jude 1 and verse 20 Bali ninyi wapenzi It says but ye beloved Mkijijenga katika imani yenu iliyo takatifu sana na kuomba katika Roho Mtakatifu Pray in the Holy Spirit Prayer has a language Maombi yana lugha Mwambie mwanzo kwa maombi yana lugha. Prayer has a language. Mwambie itambue lugha ya maombi. Recognize the language of prayer. Ili ujibiwe kwa haraka. That you are answered quickly. Baba, <laughs> You think crying confuses God? You think crying makes God answer quickly? If it's like that Moses would have been answered. He came out of Egypt to the Red Sea. The sea was full. He turned back and there were enemies back. And the army was coming. People were crying. They were crying for Moses. And Moses went to the Lord crying. The response of Moses was, Moses, stop crying for me. Raise your road upon the water. And tell the people to get and move. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Move forward. Move forward. You're telling the Lord this. I am moving forward. This too shall pass. And I shall be victorious. Jina la Yesu libarikiwe. The name of Jesus be blessed. Jina la Yesu libarikiwe. The name of Jesus be blessed. Jina la Bwana linuliwe. The name of the Lord be lifted up. Maombi yana lugha. Prayer has a language. Itambue lugha ya maombi. Recognize the language Sema of prayer. Amen. Say amen. Mungu ana Mungu anamwambia mwanadamu. God tells man he appeared to prophet Ezekiel knowing that I've put ability within the prophet the prophet that is man ability to do what is dead to make what is dead resurrect again look at Ezekiel 37 Ezekiel 37 from verse 1 Ezekiel Thirty-seven. Mstari kwanza wa kwanza. From verse one. Biblia na sema. The Bible reads. Kusoma baka mstari wa kumi na nne. We read to verse fourteen. Lakini ndaka poishi ya pata kuapa pata maizi ni bani kuako. Sema amen. Skiliza sauti. Listen to this voice. Mkono wabuana ulikuwa juu yangu. Wengine nabi na sema Ezekiel. Mkono wa Bwana ulikuwa juu yangu. Naye akanichukua nje katika roho ya Bwana. Sema katika roho ya Bwana. See in the spirit of the Lord. Naye akanichukua nje katika roho ya Bwana. Akaniweka chini. Katikati ya bonde nalo limejaa mifupa. Nalo limejaa mifupa. Akanipitisha karibu nayo pande zote. Natazama palikuwa na mifupa mingi katika ule uwanda nayo tazama ilikuwa mikavu sana hiyo mifupa ilikuwa mikavu sana akaniambia mwanadamu je mifupa hii yaweza kuishi akaniambia mwanadamu je mifupa hii yaweza kuishi nami nikajibu e bwana Mungu wajua wewe. E Bwana Mungu wajua wewe. Mstari wa 4. Akaniambia Akaniambia tena, toa unabii juu ya mifupa hii. Hebu sema toa unabii. Sema tena. Sema kwa nguvu. Juu ya mifupa hii. Si kazi nzito hiyo. Man is told to prophesy. Toa 
unabii juu ya mifupa hii uiambie enyi mifupa mikavu lisikieni neno la Bwana Bwana Mungu aiambia mifupa hii maneno haya tazama nitatia pumzi ndani yenu nanyi mtaishi sema nitatia pumzi say i'll blow the bread sema kwa sauti angalia mfumo wa Mungu ulivyo Look at how the formation of God is. Adam when he created Adam for the first time, udongo, removing him from the man, what did he put with him? Look at what he's telling his prophet. Misari wangapi? Kwa sita. Nami nitatia mishipa juu yenu. Nami nitaleta nyama iwe juu yenu na kuwafunika ngozi na kutia pumzi ndani yenu. Nanyi mtaishi. Nanyi mtajua ya, ya kuwa mimi ndimi Bwana. Basi nikatoa unabii kama nilivyoamriwa. Si nikatazi kutoa unabii Mungu ameniamuru. Don't stop me from prophesying. God has commanded me. Ukinikataza kutoa unabii unatafuta vita na Mungu wa mbinguni. You're prophesying you're looking for war with the God in heaven. Sema amina. Say amen. Sema amina. Say amen. Sema amen. Say amen. Uh. Hii leo tam sana hii. Kuna mifupa inaenda kuishi leo. There are bones that are going to live today. Kuna mifupa inaenda kuishi leo. There are bones that are going to live today. Inawezekana hiyo mifupa ni biashara yako inaenda kuishi leo. There's a business that is going to live today. Msari wa ngapi? Kwa saba Aha. Basi nikatoa unabii kama nilivyoamriwa. Hata nilipokuwa nikitoa unabii palikuwa na mshindo mkuu. Natazama tetemeko la nchi na ile mifupa ikasogeleana. Mfupa kwa mfupa mwenziwe. Nikatazama kumbe kulikuwa na mishipa juu yake. Nyama ikatokea juu yake ngozi ikaifunika juu yake lakini haikuwapo pumzi ndani yake nipo akaniambia tabiri utabirie upepo wangapi ameanza kunielewa how many have started understanding kama umenielewa pokea muujiza wako. You receive your miracle. Pokea muujiza saidi. Receive your miracle right now. My God. Kuna mtu anapata ufunuo sasa hizi na tamani baada ya ufunuo huu maisha yako yasibaki vile vile. Life should not remain the same. Anasema msali wangapi? Twende wote. Wangapi? Wa tisa. Ndipo akaniambia, "Tabiri, utabirie upepo." Mwanadamu ukauambia upepo Bwana Mungu asema hivi njoo kutoka pande za pepo nne e pumzi ukawapuzie hawa waliouawa wapate kuishi hmm. 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 wa kumi basi nikatabiri kama nilivyo nilivyo kama kama alivyoniamuru pumzi ikawaingia wakaishi wakasimama kwa miguu yao jeshi kubwa mno uwe hai be biblia ka hapa niache nifanye anataka bwana nifanye ndani yangu do what the lord wants me to do with hallelujah hallelujah Ninasimama kama Ezekiel. I'm standing as Ezekiel. Mwenye roho na agizo la Bwana juu ya maisha yako. The Lord upon your life. Ezekiel akiwa ametumwa na Bwana. Ezekiel sent by the Lord. Maandiko yanasema akachukuliwa na roho wa Bwana. He was taken by the spirit of God. Alipofika kwenye uwanja. He was taken to the land. Alipofika kwenye uwanja. When he arrived there. Alipotazama. When he looked. Akaona mifupa imezagaa kwenye uwanja. He was scattered in the land. Na ile mifupa ilikuwa mikubwa 
kavu sana bones were very dry nyama zilikuwa zimeondoka ondoka and the flesh was already gone and the ones ate the meat kwa hiyo ikabakia ni skeleton zimesambaa so main only skeleton unaona lakini kwenye zile skeleton zingine you see in other skeletons fuvu liko kwake the skull is there mfupa wa mkono huko kwake Leo hiyo mifupa inaenda kusogeleana. Inaenda kusogeleana. Inaenda kusogeleana. Kuna biashara zako. Zimebaki mifupa mikavu. Nikitazama katika ulimwengu wa roho. Sioni matumaini. Uchumi wako umekongoroka. Account zako zimekongoroka. Hata vitabu vya benki havitii matumaini. Yaani account inasoma nil. Nataka nikwambie hiyo ni mifupa mikavu. Mifupa hiyo mikavu jioni ya leo. Ninaitabiria isikie sauti ya Bwana. Na account yako ya benki ya ianze kujaa nyama ianze kujaa nyama ianze kujaa fedha ianze kujaa fedha ianze kujaa fedha ianze kujaa fedha ninaitazama afya yako I look at your health. Na yona katika ulimwengu wa roho. I see it in the spiritual realm. Imekongoroka. It is destroyed. Afya ya uzazi imekongoroka. The health of the offspring is dead. Afya ya mgongo imekongoroka. The back health is dead. Afya ya miguu imekongoroka. Feet health is dead. Una ganzi kwenye miguu. You have ganzi. Damu yako haiko sawa sawa. Your blood is not well. Wamekwambia damu yako ina matatizo. They told you that your blood is not well. Macho yako yako sawa sawa. Your eyes are not well. Yaani kwa kifupi Umebaki mifupa mikavu. Uko katika uwanda wa kaburi. Uko katika uwanda wa mazishi. Na Bwana amenituma nikuambie jioni ya leo. Mifupa yako nipate kuitabiria. Ya kwamba iamke tena. Ya kwamba iishi tena. Ya kwamba iwe hai tena. Ya kwamba itembee tena. Ya kwamba iwe na uzima tena. Sema me. Say amen. Sema me. Say amen. Ezekiel nabi wa bwana. Ezekiel the prophet of God. Akasimama akasema. His students say. Enyi mifupa mikavu. You dry bones. Enyi mifupa mikavu. You dry bones. Lisikieni neno la bwana. Hear the voice the word of the Lord. Mpate kuishi. That you get to live. Maandiko yasema alipoanza kutabiri. The word says when he started prophesying. Mifupa ikasogeleana. And the bones came close together. Yaani haikukosea. They were not wrong. Kichwa lile fuvu likatambua wapi kwenye sehemu ya shingo yake ikaenda kwenye mwili ulio kwenye kwenye mfupa ulio toka ikakaa pale pale kama ni mguu kama mfupa kwenye mguu ilio kwenye meachana ukatembea ukasogea wenyewe ukaenda ukajipachita talibu na mguu mwenzi kama ni mkono ukafanya vipo hivyo kama mbavu zingongozoka zikasogea sehemu yake zikakaa pasipo kukosea kama ilikuwa ni mbavu ya suguye kama ilikuwa ni mbavu ya suguye ilikaa kwenye mfupa wa suguye kama ni mbavu ya sikitu ilikaa kwenye mfupa wa sikitu kama ni mbavu ya joni ilikaa kwenye mbavu ya joni yani ya ukutoka sehemu nyingine kwenye kwenye mwiri mungine nina kuambia joni ya leo mari yako lazima ireje kwako asha yako lazima ireje kwako 
uchumi wako lazima urejee kwako uzima wako lazima urejee kwako utarejea kwako Nina kutolea unabii jioni ya leo. Chochote kilichokufa kirejee mara saba. Afya yako irejee mara saba. Uchumi wako irejee mara saba. Ndoa yako irejee mara saba. Biashara yako irejee mara saba. Irejee! 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 Unani tazama saa hizi kwa njia ya WRM TV. Na kwenye social media account. Ninakutabiria saa hizi. Uchumi wako urejee mara saba. Afya yako irejee mara saba. Elimu yako irejee mara saba. Heshima yako irejee mara saba. Ndoa yako irejee kwa amani mara saba. Kila mifupa iliyotawanyika ianze kusogeleana. Ianze kusogeleana. Kila mifupa tawanyika ianze kusogeleana ianze kusogeleana sema sitakufa mimi bali nitaishi nami nitasimulia matendo makuu ya bwana sema tena sitakufa mimi bali nitaishi nami nitasimulia matendo makuu ya bwana sema sitafirisika mimi bali nitakuwa tajiri nami nitasimulia matendo makuu ya yesu